Are you okay? You went boom. What happened? Ow. Ow. You got a boo boo? No. You stubbed your toe. Ah. Oh no. This is mama's camera. I did it that I know. I did. Okay. Hi guys. So. <laughs> it has been quite a long time since we vlogged. Literally, literally, there's dust on my camera. So that's how long it's been since I picked it up. Like, I haven't picked it up in so long. There's dust on my camera. I'm very sad about that. But so much has been going on. So, but today is Sunday. It's a new week. So I figured I would try and start weekly vlogging again because I have barely vlogged at all for Sienna's first year, which is super sad. sad. One, because of the virus. There's literally been nothing going on <laughs> because of the virus this year. But, oh, um, but yeah, but she has been growing and she's gotten so big. Haven't you? And now you have mama's phone. Oh, you just want, okay. So yeah, she's like so big. She's already walking 11 months. It's gonna be her year. She's gonna, she's gonna be one. Yeah, she's gonna be one in three weeks. Like what? Three, can you say three? Three. Three. Three a week. Oh, baby. I am a little different stars. Oh, oh baby. Hey, <laughs> so, anyway, I want to start trying to Papa. weekly vlog again. Papa. I pray that this will work and that I can do that again. Please, Hi. calm, be nice. I've also been like just adjusting with having two kids that are mobile and being a referee literally 24 7 except for when they're sleeping so it's been an adjustment for me and for like everybody so yeah that's basically what it's been crazy it's been a crazy year so yeah I want to start vlogging again hopefully this works out I'll do weekly vlogs and because things should start picking up on exciting things that we do and it's not just sitting here playing with toys you know I mean it's still important I'm still gonna do a one year like recap video for Sienna's first year so that I can have the video of all of her milestones and walking and all of that awesome stuff like her first steps and that sort of thing I wish I had them like more on weekly vlogs too but at least I've still recorded like on my phone so at least I can make a a video that way to recap her exciting first year with the coronavirus so there's that but I definitely want to start get. oh, let's not eat a hair. Okay, this is why vlogging is so difficult, but that's okay, we're gonna do this. So, anyways, it's Sunday today. Today is a crazy, or not today, this week is a crazy week. I have to, uh, let's see. Let's just give you an overview of what's going on this week before you see it. So, this week, I have Sienna's um, first year, like, smash cake photo shoot. So, we have to go do those, the photo shoot for her birthday. And then, 
Thursday is my first ultrasound. I don't think I have announced that on this vlog, the, uh, my channel actually. So I just kind of announced that. So I am pregnant. I am currently eight weeks and three days, I believe. Yeah, Wednesday I'll be nine weeks. So yeah, I'm eight weeks right now. I'm in the middle of my eight eight eighth week. Yeah. Does that make sense? I'm so like rusty on all this vlogging stuff. So I'm eight weeks, three days. Friday, Saturday, Saturday. Yeah. No, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm eight weeks, four days. <laughs> Sorry guys. I am eight weeks, four days currently. And um, so I'll be nine weeks when we go, ooh, yeah. So I'll be nine weeks when ah! we go do, hi, um, our first ultrasound. So we'll get to see our, our rainbow baby for the first time on Thursday. Because if you haven't seen my previous video, um, we did have a miscarriage about five months ago. About five months ago, we had an early miscarriage. I was in my fourth week. And so yeah, I am so totally grateful that I am past that point. I am actually double what I was. So it's given me peace of mind that everything is going okay. Um, tired, a little bit of nausea. So I, I know that things are good, but the first ultrasound where we actually get to <laughs> where we actually get to see our baby and see the heartbeat will just give me like so much peace i'm just so excited and ready for this ultrasound to make sure that everything is okay with our baby so yeah that's what's going on then so thursday we have our ultrasound Super excited, and then Friday I have a hair appointment because my hair, it's up right now. It's literally up, like it's probably gonna be up all the time because my hair literally, <laughs> I'm wearing Christmas pajamas, so no big deal. Um, Literally is like down to here. Like it's so close to being like to my butt. It's crazy. I just, cannot deal with this long hair because I have not been able to cut it because of COVID. And that's also something I didn't vlog. We got COVID. My whole family got COVID. That was last month in September. We got the virus that is causing the worldwide chaos. Wasn't as bad as I was imagining, but we're also young. So it was pretty simple. It was, pretty, it was pretty simple, it sucked for a couple days, but like any illness, it sucks. Um, and yeah, so we got COVID. We got COVID, but we are all better. Um, and yeah, we're out of quarantine. We've been out of quarantine for about almost two weeks. Yeah, a week and a half, two weeks. So. Ah! And you were all good, huh? Yeah, you kicked COVID's butt, didn't you? Oh, what's that? Uh, oh, is that a sparkle? Yeah. Oh, that's oh. cool. Uh -huh. Say okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so bye. Oh, bye. Okay. So that's what's going on this week. I'll keep you updated, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. an update I didn't actually vlog very many um, clips or videos over the last several days I said that I was gonna do weekly vlogs and 
It was supposed to be up on Sunday. It's currently Tuesday. Um, so it's been... No, we don't give Sienna those. No. Give them to me. So it's been over a week since I recorded anything, really. Because the day of our ultrasound, we found out that we were losing our baby, which was basically my worst nightmare. And it has been a roller coaster of emotions. Um, basically, I am in the middle of a missed miscarriage. So we went and did the ultrasound. I was supposed to be nine weeks or nine weeks, one like eight weeks, nine days somewhere in there and the baby there was no heartbeat that could be found and the baby was measuring six weeks instead of nine like even eight would have been okay but six weeks there's just no way so we got some blood work done verified with my hormones that my hormones are going down but very slowly like by a thousand um every two days and my original hcg count was twenty thousand, so it only went down a thousand in two days so it could be it could be a while before i miscarry so i've been um basically battling battling with what i want to do Basically, the doctor. Okay, hey guys, shh. Basically, the guy, uh, the doctor gave me three options. I could stop yelling, please. Oh my goodness. So, um, yeah, gave me three options, and it's been very difficult because none of the options are good or fun, or and all of them have risks. So. It's just horrible. But I've come to the emotional state to where um, this coming Thursday, today's Tuesday. So a week from my first ultrasound on this coming Thursday, I will be going to get another ultrasound done to verify that the baby, there's still no heartbeat, that there's still no heartbeat and there's like the baby hasn't grown or shrinking depending on what's going on I hear that's a thing that the baby starts shrinking when they pass away so um, and I basically basically come to the mental the mental and physical state that I feel like I'm going to choose a DNC um, just because I don't want to be miscarrying and going into labor and being in super and a whole crap load of pain and bleeding very heavily. So no screaming, please. And my emotions all are all uh, blah, my emotions are all over the place. Um, so I can tell like I'm more irritable, especially with the kids. Like I'm just. It's rough, it's hard, and it's rough. So, I just, I don't want to stay in limbo anymore. I feel like my womb has become a tomb. My mental state's not good, my physical state's not good. I feel like my body is a total mess. I'm still having horrible nausea and headaches and tired and my, my body's just confused and I'm like cramping a little bit, but there's still no blood. And if the baby died at six weeks, then my body's been holding the baby for almost four weeks now. Yeah, so, and it could be weeks, whoops, it could be weeks to months if I go naturally and I don't wanna do the pill, so. I feel like this will be the best for my family and me. I know there's like risks that are involved in it because it's a surgery, um, but it's a very small one. And 
in short. I should be home like within a few hours afterwards and I just recover at home. I'm sure I'll have cramping and all that stuff that comes with it, but it won't be like the trauma of miscarrying a baby with two to a toddler and a, a baby that I have to take care of on top of it. And yeah, and potentially see the baby. I just feel like for me and my heart and my emotional state and physical state and where my family is right now, where I like have so much going on that I really should be as healthy as I can be, but this is not the case at all with miscarrying and all that. I just, I think I just need to have the procedure done and they say it's simple and fast and I just hope that's true and I'm making the right decision. I'm very scared. But I love their laughs, so it makes me, it makes it a little better. So, at least I have my two kids. So, um, <laughs> I love their laughs. I love them so much. So, I will do a whole miscarriage DNC, probably a DNC story, but for this like weekly vlog, for the Oh, wonderful. She just pooped on the floor. Okay. See, this is what I, don't talk, don't touch. No touching. No touching. I will fix it. Come. This is what I'm talking about. I like legit need to be on the top of my game and I can't do that. No, 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 no. Do not sit. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. So to wrap this up for today, Basically, that's what's going on, but for this like weekly vlog, I'm just gonna kind of show you a little bit of what is happening as it happens during this week. Um, but then I'll probably do like a sit down, this is what happened, like the whole story of everything once I'm recovered. So that's what's going on and yeah. So this, this video will be probably a two week vlog because of everything that happened. And um, yeah, so we'll see and wait. We'll wait and see what the doctor says on Thursday and my ultrasound just to verify. But with my hormones going down and everything from last time, it's pretty obvious. It's just kind of that verification, doubly verification that this is for sure. I don't want to do anything if the pregnancy is good, you know, because I don't want to do anything to hurt a baby that's okay. But I know that's not the case. So, um, yeah. So I will, touch base uh, with you guys on Thursday when I'm going to the doctor and kind of show you a few clips of that and what we decide and what we do. I assume that when I decide to do the DNC and I tell her she'll want to do it fairly soon. I don't know if she'll want to do it. I don't know if she'll want to do it that day on Thursday or maybe the next day on Friday. I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure they do the DNCs like soon. They like get you in as soon as possible to do that. So <sighs> this is hard. This is like one of the hardest things I've ever gone through. And with my last miscarriage, at least it was like at four weeks and it was pretty much just like a period. But <laughs> I'll touch back with you on Thursday. Livia, are you a police officer? Yeah, Papa did. He's, he, you're a police officer like Papa? Yeah, Papa does. Wow. Hey. Guess what? Look behind you. Olivia. Olivia. Olivia, look behind you. 
Look behind you. update you guys on at the end of this weekly vlog video that after talking to my doctor um that was me getting back from the doctor on Thursday and surprising Livia uh behind her and I got blood work done I talked or we did the ultrasound there was no growth or heartbeat still still the same six weeks two days so it's pretty obvious. It was always obvious from the beginning, but it was just a verification. And so my doctor and I talked and we both decided that the DNC is the way that I wanted to go. And she respected that and totally understood and thought it would, it would be all right. So that's what I've decided to do. So in the next vlog from this week, you will see what happened with that. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week.